Once again, welcome to Minister Ivan's Piano Class, and we are coming to break everything that has been very hard for you over the years down for you, so that your music journey is going to be a successful one. Please, uh, I'll urge you to subscribe to the channel if this is the first time that you are, you are, maybe you are meeting us on this channel. And I also don't um, forget to turn the notification button on because so that whenever I post, you get the notification. Okay, so let's go on to our. Um, our classes today also like this video and put your comments in the comment section now these are four tips to play a, to play worship like a pro you see worship has become one of the things that when it comes to keyboard it's or uh, when it comes to music it's exceptional because when someone wants to worship the person wants to you know be in the mood and get one and one one on one uh, with God and the little mistake you do can put everybody out of the spirit and you play a vital point, part in playing worship in at the church or wherever okay so let's go let's go now the first thing i'll urge you to do is that now uh, when it comes to the settings your strengths settings yes the strengths settings now the best tone for worship is strengths whatever you want to play whatever whether you want to play a piano with strings or whatever i will urge you to add strings to your settings what uh, whenever you are playing i will urge you to add strings to your settings and i said it before that whether you want to play any tone for the strings please add strings and some for the for some worship especially especially the local worship um you can use only the strings with some string settings yes i've taught some on my videos so you can just check in my pay on my page you can just go through my my videos and you see some settings powerful settings for worship but you know never leave strengths out whenever you want to play worship yes and also secondly when you want to play worship never play the strengths without adding the sustain yes what i mean sustain i mean you can use m release whenever you are using you know the psr batch of keyboards and you can search, search for wherever the sustain is yes especially when you're using the strings you can also use the sustain pedal but for, for for you know professional ones if you're a beginner i would not urge you to use sustain pedal to play strings because it's it can give you over you, let's see i'm playing like this this is the this is the sustain on the keyboard right this is the sustain on the keyboard okay now when i want i have a sustain pedal when i want to use the sustain in, let me say if you are not a professional using the sustain it, it can give you like different sound it can it can give you like excess of the sustain that is more than the sustain you need in the strings and it can destroy your play okay uh -huh. so it, it can be something like this you see you see when you, you you step on the sustain maybe you step on it wrongly so make sure you add sustain to your strings never play the strings without sustain because for some keyboards playing the strings without sustain will make it somehow it will never sound good and also um if you are a pro you can play the strength without sustain but we use some techniques i'll be teaching it okay yes unless you you you, you know um you press the chords hard so if you want to be free and play better strings please don't forget to add sustain to it the third this is the third this is the third tip I'm giving you. Whenever you are playing the keyboard and it's a strength, you see, let me teach you one secret. You see, this is playing. It's not, it's not like the piano that can play this. You see, it is, it, it is strength, so it is playing. So, do you know one, one thing? If you add this, it's like two horns that are coming together. So, one thing I will urge you to do as an organist is that whenever you are playing strings, some people play strings as if they are playing. Uh, some people play strings as if they are playing piano. No, you get it wrong. You see, play it like this. Hold, press it harder. Even if you have had added after you have added the sustain, and like don't add too much of the sustain to. Okay, uh huh. So even after you have added the sustain, press it harder so that it give you this sound. You see, 
press it hard, press it harder. Don't don't just do it like this. You'll be right, but it will never sound good. Press it harder. That is what, how we play strings, so that whatever you are playing will come. Okay, so you can play it something like this. You see, you see what I'm doing, my my hand. You see, only only do that I'm playing. You'll be doing your hand like this. How that? Okay, so press the strings harder. And never leave it. There are some people who, who play and at the end they do like this. Then when the singer stops, they stop. No, you bring everybody out of the spirit. Just be in the spirit. If you if even you have to go down, you, have, you can use the um, volume button to go down a little bit. Then you still you still let the strings flow whether the uh, musician has stopped singing and even talking. You can let just play the strings under uh, his speech. Okay, so press it. Make sure you press it. Harder. This is the third one. All right, this is the third one. Yes, this is the third one. Oh, the second. Okay, this is the, this is the third one. Now let me teach you the next one. The next one is the after praying. Make sure you're playing it. Uh, harder. Now this is a very big secret that 98% of people who play strings that don't know. So pay attention. Now, make sure when it comes to strings play. Let me tell you a secret that I found. Always, sometimes you shouldn't play the two hands together. Like when you are playing far, you shouldn't play it like this. Like don't play it together. Sometimes the right should go faster than the left. Okay, so let me as example. Let me teach you like. Wadi. So the the right place la. We are playing la ti do. So here the right place the chord before I play the bass. Okay, so this is how it is. Okay. Okay, so this is how it is. So let the right go before the left. So when you are playing la, the right will be playing like this. The You see how it is. You see, so the the right goes faster than the left. So when you are playing so or when you are playing la. The right will play the last first then. So the T the I'm going to T. You see the right has gone first. Then the do, you see. So right goes first. Maybe some seconds before the base. Where the You see how it is? So right goes faster than the left. So that is how it is. So maybe you play the left, right, wait a second or two, then you add the, the left to the same thing. You know? Because when it comes to worship, people want to know, you see, playing the, uh, the, the chords and the bass has its own way that it has to come so that they will hear it differently okay that is why i'm teaching you this technique when you use it you see how it it sounds it's very 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 nice and it will put you in the spirit let me teach you this last thing then we are done for this video so the last thing i'm going to teach you that will help you to play strings like a pro like a pro is um also make sure that you are following the the, the 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 song with your heart the song that they are singing listen i i said it earlier in the video you can never play a powerful worship without uh, adding your heart i've been playing for most artists and mostly i play strings for them the first time i met let me say jack alolo me awari juniors and the big artist i was a very young boy yes i was a very young boy there are many videos that we have posted on, on youtube facebook that i was the organist behind what they were singing 
And you see, what made them love my ministry or my music ministry is that I put my heart in it whenever I'm playing the keyboard. You can never leave your emotions or your heart out. No matter how good you can play, it will never be powerful. It will sound good, but talking of powerful, no. So, if you want to play strings like a pro, you know, add your heart. Also, worship in your heart, okay? So, when they are singing, you just be playing. And also, uh, let the bass, make sure you are right on the progressions and let the bass to be right. Don't be playing many, too many bass, like someone who play worship and... No, it's very wrong. You see, it's very wrong. It will be making noise. Just be, be, be moving. Like when it's going to, so I'm that is what I, I taught you. You just let the right go first, then the, the, the left comes. Where did the last do? You see, simply don't play too many basses like this. It will make noise. Play, play the correct progression and relax for the bass. Where did 